Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. I want to do this video for you. Uh, I just finished watching the long, long, long uh, Autonomy Day uh, Robo Taxi Tesla presentation of their world class advanced chip for uh, to enable uh, all Tesla cars uh, to become uh, fully autonomous as early as next year. I'll go over it in a minute. The, the presentation, first of all, was late by about 35 minutes. It was hard to, to wait. And it was extraordinarily detailed with science and with stuff that went way over my head and, unless you are uh, a computer engineer or a software engineer or MIT graduate. you I, I mean, I found it fascinating even though I didn't understand most of it, and even the investors that were there uh, asked great questions in layman's term. Basically, to make it, to make a long story short, Tesla has developed an unbelievable chip that is going to uh, enable Tesla cars to uh, be um, fully autonomous. It is was three years in development. Um, uh, it will be activated next year pending regulations. I'm just really going quickly through the main facts. Uh, Tesla, in the past month, Tesla Model S and Xs are, that are produced are equipped with this chip. In the last 10 days, Tesla Model 3s uh, that are produced are equipped with uh, this um, chip. In the meantime, Tesla is um, developing the next generation already, a chip that's going to be three times better and it's going to be ready uh, in the next uh, uh, two years. In two years, one thing that was a little bit of a concern is the amount of energy that this chip takes when it's activated, um, 200 watt hour per mile. That's a lot. And Elon Musk said it will affect mostly in uh, local driving, not uh, so much in uh, highway driving, but we'll see. I will continue uh, following that. So it will be called a robo taxi. Uh, Elon Musk talked about the Tesla's advantage in data, data collections. One of the um, investor asked him, what's, what's the difference between uh, what Waymo is doing, which is collecting data on a simulator uh, as, as opposed to uh, data collected in real world? Because in the simulator, you can collect billions of miles of data. And in, in, in real world, you, you collect as much as you collect. So. Uh, the answer was very interesting. Uh, Elon Musk answer was very interesting. He said that there is no substitute to real world data and Tesla leads the world in, wor in, in data. This chip, by the way, is um, uh, developed and produced only for Teslas, not for anybody else. Uh, and it is a part of the holy grail of Tesla's master plan, uh, which now talks about the these additions 2019 model s3s and x's will be uh, producing in in a, in a volume of 10,000 per week we'll see about that 2020 mobile uh, model y and the semi and the semi trailers are going to be uh, produced and the robo taxi app which i'm going to show you uh, is going to be activated pending on regulation now Elon Musk talks about a profit of $30,000 a year per car that has a life expectancy of 11 years on the road. Uh, probably could be up to, let's say, 90,000 miles a year. So Tesla basically can have their own fleet of, um, of cars that they're going to use only for the robo taxi or your car, your Tesla, uh, can be equipped with this chip or it comes with this chip and they are going to be uh you can use your car as a robo taxi that is an incredible incredible a uh, shift a huge paradigm shift in automotive industry never be done in history that a car serves as a robo taxi by no driver comes as uh, in a command like you will command an uber or a lyft to come to you but this one will come without a driver and I think that the, regula the regulator will be a big hurdle. Uh, insurance will be an issue, not an issue. I mean, a, a challenge to overcome. And there's going to be a lot of things going on until that uh, is going to be, uh, you know, come to reality. But the potential, the sky is the limit. Really, the sky is the limit. I will continue uh, following uh, this story for you almost on a daily basis and update you uh, on anything new. 
if you have any updates don't forget to put them in the in the comments thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon tomorrow